of five. Six little sailor boys playing with a high. A bumblebee stung one. And then there were five. My compliments to Miss Claythorne and Mr. Bloor for breakfast. We have to eat to keep our strength up. I'm a domestic sort of man. I don't mind. Since it is now certain the killer is following the rhyme over the fireplace in the front parlour, our course is clear. Miss Brent, you have an allergy to bee stings. The next little sailor boy is meant... Six little sailor boys. This is getting worrisome. You had no right to speak to me that way at breakfast. Didn't I? It's still morning and you're drunk already. Thanks to you. Doctor, as you yourself must know, blaming others for one's own faults is a favorite trick of the alcoholic. You cloak yourself in religion, but you're the most unchristian woman I've ever met. You're a devil. A devil, do you hear me? I'm certain everyone can hear you, Doctor. Eavesdropping is impolite, Mr. Narricott, but under the circumstances, I'm glad you overheard. Enjoying the break in the weather, Miss Brent. This island has only two types of weather. He has done a great service of the most secret and international This fool tries to sell me a cleaver with no style or grace. Tell him which is the better cleaver for the hacking of meat. The cleaver in your left hand. Ah! Here at least is one who knows fine forged German steel when she sees it. Monsieur Poirot? dangers of the seas. When we receive our orders, we are obliged to go on the main to proud Spain, where the stormy winds do blow.
saints preserve me! Patrick, darling, you're such a child. Man enough. I see what you mean, old man. There is indeed a storm coming. Burns fixed his goggles, has he? Yes. Here you are, Mr. Poro. It's a life ring boy. I can't see it getting torn about that way by simply catching on the swimming board. Torn? Rubbish! Poirot, 
Those look like bullet holes. Now oh, you've got your goggles in hand, Frank. Yes, Major. Mr. Porro ingeniously cut up a luggage strap to replace the broken one. Luggage strap? Why, so it is. In fact, if I didn't know better... Thank you for the assistance, Monsieur Redfern. Good day, gentlemen. Try again, Poirot. It's easy. Do I look like the fisherman to you, Hastings? First step, mademoiselle, take the bird to my bath and wait for me there. Come along, you poor little thing. Some post for you, Poirot. Mr. Hercule Poirot, you fancy yourself, don't you, at solving mysteries that are too difficult for our poor thick-head British police? Let us see, Mr. Clever Poirot, just how clever you can be. Perhaps you'll find this nut too hard to crack. Look out for Endover on the 21st of the month. Yours extra, A, B, C. Oh, it's some sort of joke. Maybe, but please remind me to inform Chief Inspector Jap. It's here, Poirot. The murder took place in this street. Grim place indeed. Tout à fait, Hastings. The streets of Andover are in a terrible state. Look, there's Chief Inspector Jap. He's talking with a policeman. Let us try not to get our shoes wet. Over here, it's Hastings and Poirot. You missed the nine o'clock train? We took the half past ten. Luckily the service is good to Andover. So, Chief Inspector, what do we have? The victim is called Alice Asher. She owned this tobacco shop. She was killed yesterday with a blow to the back of the head. At what time? Let me just check.
Is Jap being too relaxed? Let us find the clues that prove it. Indeed, Poirot. We were used to seeing you judge people with more discretion. Jap is in a good mood. I bet he thinks he's already called the culprit. The last customer to see Mrs. Asher alive left her shop at half past five. The body was found at around 11 in the evening by an officer doing his rounds. The shop door was open. That's what alerted him. Had anything been taken? A little tobacco, maybe, but you'd hardly murder for a few smokes. There's nothing of any real value in the shop. What type of woman was Miss Zesha? In her fifties. Married, but separated. No children. A husband? Aha, uh -huh, Franz Asher, the husband. Alcoholic and violent. It's said that he regularly insulted his wife and threatened to kill her. A little too easy, don't you think? You like complications, don't you? Well, this time you may be disappointed. Peut-être. May I examine the crime scene? Of course, old chap. I'll be with you in a minute, Poirot. <laughs> 